Prosecutors are pressing their case against a woman suspected of poisoning two men. Michelle Hale is on trial for the poisoning death of her boyfriend, Damien Skipper. News 2's Bess Casterly was in the courtroom when deputies linked Hale to that poison. Well, a couple of delays pushed this trial into this week, but it is expected to wrap up tomorrow on the heels of some of the prosecution's most damning testimony yet. On Monday, prosecutors introduced their metaphorical smoking gun in the murder case against Michelle Hale. An NOPD detective on stand testified that Hale, or a person using her name, contact information, credit card, and computer, purchased barium acetate, a poison, on three different occasions. First in January 2015, and then May 2015. Hale's boyfriend, Damien Skipper, died in June that year, and a pathologist testified earlier in the trial that Skipper ingested a massive amount of barium right before his death, and there were traces of the poison found in his hair, indicating a previous ingestion. Records show another purchase in January of 2016. Hale's husband, Arthur Knopflin, was found dead in New Orleans in March of that year. Knopflin's cause of death could not be determined due to his remains being so badly burnt. However, both men had complained of symptoms consistent with barium poisoning and even gone to the hospital before their deaths. Prosecutors say the motive was insurance money. Hale finessed a $10,000 payment from Skipper's life insurance despite not legally being his wife. The state says she got greedy and wanted more, this time going after her actual husband, Knopflin, who had a $750,000 policy. Hale's defense says because the coroner's office could not determine a cause or manner of death in Knopflin's death, that basically establishes a lot of doubt that she was involved and breaks any sort of pattern that could be established by both Knopflin and Skipper's murders. Of course, this trial will be wrapping up soon. As I said, tomorrow looks like the day that we could see both sides rest, but it is unclear how long the judge will take to come to a decision. Reporting live, Best Casserly, WBRZ News 2. Best thanks.